I've spent a lot of time building and using title templates in DaVinci Resolve and have found a few key ways that my templates and other templates have fallen short in the past, but I think I fixed that. Today I'm releasing version 2 of my editor titles pack. It's a huge collection of 250 titles made up of 9 title packs, and I've rebuilt every single title to ensure great quality, outstanding customization, and amazing performance. If you've already bought the pack, you get all of this just by leaving a short review in the comments below. I'm kidding, you get it for free, but please drop a comment and let others know what you think about the pack. Let's talk about what's new and why you should buy it if you don't already have it. Real quick, Editor Titles is an all-in-one bundle of my title packs where you get free lifetime updates and free access to any new packs that I add in the future. You can buy the packs individually if you'd like, or you can save a ton of money and add a ton of value by going with the bundled version. The different packs cover many different styles, so you have something that'll fit into every project. There's modern titles, clean titles, call-out titles, timer titles, cinematic titles, logo titles, basic titles, glitch titles, and credit titles. A lot of titles. On my website I have a preview of each one of these titles and on their product pages there's also like a walkthrough tutorial type video so that way you can learn more. Anyways let's talk about what's new. One of the biggest things missing in the past that I've had many of you ask me about is alignment options and now we have those in editor titles. In most of the titles you can go into the text settings and align to the left center or right. Kind of going hand in hand with that editor titles now has text wrapping and this works in two different ways throughout the tools. First, if the title has a box or a bar behind it, you can just change the text of the box and the text will wrap to fit inside of it. If the title does not have a box that the text needs to fit into, there's just a simple slider that lets you compress the text as much as you'd like. I know for some of you, these two features are going to be a game changer and make this pack 10 times as good, so I'm super excited to announce that. I've also updated it so there's a lot more consistency across the different packs. All of them have the same drop shadow controls, the same inspector layouts, really simple customization options, and the same version of my Anim engine. If if you have not heard of my Anim Engine framework, it powers most of the titles and lets you turn the animation on or off, change their length, customize the easing, and do all of that right from the edit page without any keyframes. It's really easy to use and does all of the heavy lifting for you. Another big priority with this pack was optimization. I want to make stuff run as fast as possible. You'll probably notice the biggest increase in performance with the timer titles and the credit titles pack, but pretty much all of the titles should render at least a bit faster. Going into some pack specific upgrades, I totally rebuilt my timer engine for timer titles. One of the big selling points for these is the slide animation when counting. I still haven't seen anyone else do that for DaVinci Resolve. Inside of the timer engine, you can choose a count up, count down, disable the slide animation, set a max time, offset the counter, and so much more. You can pretty much do anything you'd like, and the menu is way cleaner and easier to use in version 2. I also fixed an issue where certain fonts would break the slide animation. If this was the case for you, try it again with the same font, but turn on force spacing. And like mentioned, even with all of these great improvements, it still runs way faster. And speaking of running faster, credit titles also runs quite a bit faster. In addition to that, you can now import CSV files with just a few clicks. Check out the full video on the credit titles product page to learn more about that. If you make credits, you're going to love having this feature. The logo title pack, which lets you add in your logo, a client's logo, or just a social media logo, now lets you load an image directly from the media pool, or you can still use a loader to reference it directly on your system. In this update, glitch titles got simplified. There's two different glitch styles now, the standard glitch and the sly glitch. I think the new version looks quite a bit better, it's easier to control, and you guessed it, it runs faster. Editor titles version 2 is built for DaVinci Resolve 20 and can be downloaded from your account today. If you want to still use the pack on a previous version or you just prefer some of the old title designs, though they're pretty much the same, reach out to me and I can get you a legacy copy of the tools. The goal with any pack I make is to save you time, and with version 2, that's even more true. This pack makes it so easy to add some information to your videos and add a level of consistency throughout your projects that your clients are going to love. So if you want to save some time and make your videos look more professional, check out editor titles and all of the individual packs at the link down below. There's previews, tutorials, and if you can't find something, just reach out and I'll get you an answer. Leave a comment down below with your favorite part of the pack and let me know what you want to see in a future update. Thanks for watching and have fun editing.